The middle school virtual band is preparing for an upcoming concert. I went over to the middle school to talk with Miss Nye and see how the kids are dealing with the social guidelines in place. So up until about two weeks ago, um, New York State guidelines required that all musicians um, play 12 feet apart, whether they're singing or they're playing. So um, we have had to space the students 12 feet apart from each other. Percussion is six feet because they're non-wind, um, so they could be six feet together. Now, in the last two weeks, uh, New York State has allowed us to go six feet um, with PPE. So uh, we are currently just waiting on an order of our masks and bell covers. So this is an example of a mask, and I know some people may say, well, if the mask has a hole in it, but here's the deal. Um, we have a custom design mask, and you can see they're custom designed for Alden. We have the Bulldog, we have Alden Music Department on them, and when you put them on then there is this little um, slit here that your mouthpiece will go in. Okay, very carefully too with the reeds. We don't want to chip any reeds. And uh, the, so the students, when they put the mouthpiece in their mouth, then this flap comes over and it actually creates a seal um, that allows them to be fully protected with their masks on. And then this is the second um, step is a bell cover. So this would be a bell cover for a saxophone or a trumpet. And this um, is just my personal one that I had bought to test things out. It's going to be the same blue color with a bulldog on it. And um, this kind of goes on like a sock over their, um, their bell. And um, this, these two things together will really help um, reduce anything. Uh, the middle school band students have been preparing in their various lessons and their groups. Uh, seventh and eighth grade are still rehearsing by cohort. So what that means is that we have a certain part of the band um, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of one week, and then we'll have another part of the band that will rehearse either Thursday or Friday. Um, so that makes it a little difficult because we don't see that full band together ever. Uh, the great thing about the sixth grade being back full time now is that we do have them um, at least every other day in full band. And then in sixth grade, we have something called a mini band where um, they're rehearsing every other day, like if they're not in chorus or AIS. And um, it's been really, even in just this one week I've had them, I noticed the progress they have been making as an ensemble. So it's really good. So between lessons and the regular band rehearsals, um, that is how we are preparing for this next concert. Our last um, performance we did virtual recording uh, was for Bandorama, which was at the end of March. So we started bringing on some of these new pieces. Um, for some sight reading activities, I had been bringing some of these pieces um, that they're gonna be performing. So some of them, maybe a couple months, but most of the music only has been prepared since the end of March. Um, and you have to remember, we've had spring break in there. And with the cohorts, sometimes, most of the times I only see them once a week and then in lessons once every 10 days. Um, so from today, I believe we have six rehearsals left um, before we do this recording. Thank you to Miss Nye for allowing me to come and get information on the middle school band. We look forward to the production the middle school band will have in the next month. This is Nate Turnbull reporting for Wax News.